Hi guys, welcome back to Gunny TV. Today we're here out at Secure America Now Training Center and we have this beautiful 300 blackout here. This thing is completely custom made. As you can see, it has a nice paint job. It has an optic on there. Oh, excuse me. Just to show you, it's an empty chamber. So, empty chamber, nice. And this one has an Aero Precision Texas Lower Edition. Uh, Texas edition lower that's how it is we have a grip here a vertical grip and a Magpul bipod so all in all it's a pretty nice looking gun for you guys who don't know who don't know uh, what 300 blackout is I'm gonna talk about this in a minute so yeah this is how they look it's comparable to a 556 but it's not really a 5.56. So 223 is a little longer with the casing and 300 Blackout has bigger bullets. So we're talking about this in a minute and I'm gonna show you the difference and what kind of different ammunition we have here. But here we shoot only this because that's the only thing that's allowed here on the range. We don't, don't wanna break any targets. So we're shooting this from about, how many yards is this? 100 yards, so it's not that far, but we just wanna show you how to shoot it, how it feels, how the recoil feels, because everyone who doesn't know what a 300 blackout really feels like, I'm trying to explain that, so that you know if you wanna buy one or not. Let's go, we're gonna lay down here and shoot a few targets down there. So as you can tell, it sounds pretty loud, but this one was uh, actually made for being suppressed, so it's a great caliber to be suppressed. In the beginning, I forgot the name of the company, the one that uh, builds Honey Badgers Q, right? Yes. Yeah, so these guys came up with, with this type of ammunition for, I think it was the Navy SEAL something and they wanted to replace the mp5 it sadly never turned out that way but still it's a great caliber and now it it, it gains more and more popularity uh, amongst all kinds of gun people so in case you're from europe and you've never heard of it you can buy it over there um it's there in europe too but it's not that common as you can see it here in the us so we're gonna continue shooting on on the targets down there and I try to be a little better now by hitting. <laughs> okay guys, let's take a close look um, on the ammo. What is a 300 blackout? It's basically a mix in between a 308 and a 223 or 556. A 308 also known as the 7.62, but the big difference in between those NATO um, names and the regular ones are how much black powder is in there. So never, never shoot a uh, 7.62 NATO in your 308 if it's not made for that. Or never shoot a 5.56 NATO in your 223 Remington because it could be the black powder is too strong and you're gonna destroy your gun. So what 300 Blackout basically did was take the tip of a 308, I'm showing you that in the background, taking the tip, because it's it's the same tip, and put it in the casing of a 5.56. Then cut the casing of a 5.56 to a length that allows you to have about the same length of a 5.56. So there are converting kits for AR-15s so that you can shoot 5.56 and 300 blackout. So as long as you swap out the barrel and um, I don't know how much parts on the inside have to be changed but the magazine is the same you can use the same magazine then you can shoot 300 blackout and 556 in the same rifle 
if you have a converting kit. So I don't, I can't tell you in a, um, like how much in a gun has to be swapped, but basically you can put it in the same magazine, but never, never shoot a 300 blackout out of uh, out of a 556 or 223. So you'll basically kill yourself and your gun. There's really a lot different rounds here too for the 300 blackout. Um, just four different we show you here. Um, nothing that we shot out here because they would do harm to the targets. That's why we didn't shoot them. It's a great round for home defense because you can suppress it. So if you suppress a 300 blackout and put these red tips in there, dude, that's some kind of a man stopping power because you have the the weight of a 308 wandering into a person with like enough force and um, still be suppressible enough so you can use it at home. That's pretty uh, nice. I, I love that. I always thought about getting a 300 blackout for home defense. Maybe I'll do that one day, but here you are. That's the difference. So let's go back to shooting. Okay, now I see. So it's 10 round. We're out. Or we do have a more function. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, that's uh, no good. The firing ping hit the ammo, but it did not go off. But I think it's a little low. So we're trying to shoot again. I'm hitting very, very high. So let's try again. Mm -hmm. High. So I can't really tell what I'm shooting at. Maybe it's because of, yeah, that's another one. So either the firing pin has some problems or the ammunition is bad, could be, but I'm not really hitting the target and I can't tell if I'm shooting over or under. Okay, let's try one more time. So the recoil itself is really, really light. It's kind of like, it feels like a 5.56. So it's not bad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's freaking weird. Now we're hidden. Slightly above, to the right, yeah. Taking another target here, to my left. Yes, nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the last one. Okay. Let's do the, the last one. Free-handed. Nice. All right, guys. That's it for the 300 Blackout. If you like that gun, let me know. Write down in the comments. And if you want to see more 300 Blackout action, write it in the comments too, because like we are here to make these videos for you. See you next time at Gunny TV.